Wow. Good thing I don't have to drive this around over and over again to test all the components in this vehicle. I've got Crystal Instruments TWR for that. Hi, I'm Anastasia Tolpigo, Sales and Support Manager with Crystal Instruments. And on today's version of Brief Tutorials, I will go over the TWR, or Time Waveform Replication Vibration Control Software. In TWR tests, a predefined time domain waveform is replicated, and the structure under test is excited using this waveform. The response of the unit under test is measured, and the output signal is varied in closed loop to maintain the input control signal same as that of the predefined waveform. We've designed Waveform Editor and EDM application as a supplementary tool to create and modify waveforms. As always, establish a secure connection between the SPIDER PC and EDM. Once connected, ensure the input channels are adjusted under setup, and the shaker and test parameters have been added in the configuration menu. For more information on these topics, please see the links below. Now to add a time history waveform for the shaker to reproduce, first go to the test profile menu within the configuration. Note, there could be several profiles already added. Click on add profile first, and recent saved signals from this database will be listed within the signal recall menu. Click browse from disk to add a new waveform signal. Locate and open the desired recording. This selected signal will appear at the top of the list, allowing you to place a check mark and click OK. The signal must be in units of acceleration and sampled at or lower than the frequency range of the shaker. Confirm the profile parameters within the TWR profile converter, applying a high pass filter when necessary. The new waveform will now be listed along with the other profiles. Click to display it on the graph, then right click to upload to the spider front end. Check to see that the no changes to yes. Next, let's head to the REN schedule. As with all VCS tests, a schedule must be specified for the controller to complete. In the default REN schedule, we've added a profile for convenience, but we won't be using this one. Let's add the new loaded waveform by clicking on the Run Profile at the left. Select the new profile from the list, and the Replication Profile menu will appear, allowing you to check against the shaker limits, rescale and adjust the profile, and verify the abort settings. Click OK to confirm, then choose the level and repetition. Finally, clicking OK to place the entry into the schedule and now we can remove the default entry. This completes the main configuration setup. Be sure to also change the saving and recording options within the miscellaneous menu. Click OK and we're ready to start the test. For more information on Crystal Instruments and our vibration control software and hardware, please visit our website at crystalinstruments.com.